What's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be taking a look at a 2018 toyota highliner xle we're going to be doing a full walk around checking the vehicle out putting on the road of course and do a test drive checking the safety features out so let's get into the videos guys to the engine compartment this is a 3.5 liter v6 which is paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission puts about 295 horsepower 263 pound-feet of torque so this v6 engine has a capacity of a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds it does 20 in the city 26 on the highway 0 to 60 in about 6.3 seconds so this is it the 2018 v6 this is not a hybrid this is a regular gasoline engine of course it does come in a hybrid version but it's just a v6 so we're going to move over to the interior before we get inside this vehicle we're going to take a look at the back so you have your tail lights which are which has this integrated led in them you have your lower bumper trim that is coated matte black. There you have your reflectors in them. Of course, your XLE AWD badge. You have your backup camera right here. And of course, you have your shark fin antennas, your how mounted um, rear stop lights. So the trunk opens both ways. So if you just want to go and grab something from in it from in the back you don't have to open the entire trunk you just press this button it pops up you open it and then you can easily grab whatever you want to grab right here and just close it back and that's it so if you want to open the trunk it's a it's an electronic tailgate so once the key is out on you you just press it, it opens, and then you have your trunk space. So when the third row seats are released, you can tell that you don't have much of a trunk space behind you. So right here you have your, your jack, it's in there, your wheel wrench. Your jack handle and all the stuff for breakdown. So to put this, the tarot seats back, you just release, goes down, same way like this, release, it goes down like this. So now you can see you have enough room in here. So so bring your tarot seats back up you do the same you hold like this folds and then you set it at the level you want you want it to be in for your own comfort you do the same you haul it and then you do like this okay you have your rear trunk lights right here and so we're gonna move over to the back seats the, the middle row seats so coming over to the middle row as you can see i'm 5'10 in height and i'm seated 
pretty much comfortable. I have enough space, enough space, and I'm comfortable. So coming over to the tarot seat, as you can see, I'm seated and I'm gonna put the seat back the right way. There's no space for me here. So the tarot seat, there's not, there's no room. As you can see, yeah. So it's pretty much for the kids, not for adult. To the back, you have your two-tone black and cream door. You have your sunscreen in the two back doors. Of course, your captain chairs or your captain seats, whichever you want to call it. So these are optional. You can choose if you want your captain chairs or you want your regular three row or three seater chairs. That's an option that you can choose. You have your heavy duty flow mats in the back, all over the car. Climate control. You can control your own climate from, from the back here. Your AC vents all over. You have cup holders here. Couple of cup holders in the back. Couple of cup holders in the doors. You have charging options here too. You have two USB. You have a, a house adapter here. 120 watts. 120 volts, 100 watts. Nice headliner. Huge space in the cabin. Coming over to the front. You have your instrument cluster buttons right here. Your lean departure assist button. Your menu buttons right here. Your telephone button, your telephone buttons right here. Adjust your change your channel, adjust your volume. Talk to the car through your Bluetooth connection if your car is connected to the phone. Answer calls hang up calls from right here. You have your gauge right here. Pretty much user friendly. Your infotainment system right here. Navigations, everything is right here. You have your climate control. You can also control the real temperature from right here. You can cut it off from right here. You have this nice finish design that goes all the way. You have extra storage in here. I am one person who loves this extra storage. You can put your phone here, other quick thing that you want to quickly reach out to, you can just put it right there. You have your various modes. You have your diff lock mode right here button. You have your downhill assist button right here. You have your snow button right here and you have your traction control right here you have a couple of drive modes right here you have your heated seats of course you have big cup holders right here your armrest it's a huge it's a huge storage yep ah uh, yeah it was from some part of the review oh, sorry about that and you have your glove department right here. You have an automatic view mirror that automatic deems the light of the driver behind you when it's too bright. It does that. Your interior lights are right here. Okay, this is for your sunshades. This is an additional view mirror for the occupants in the back 
you have your moonroof you have your four doors which are automatic the door glass all four automatic your mirror adjusters right here you have a heated view mirror and lane departure assist right here so safety features that this car come with includes lane departure assist dynamic radar cruise control pre-collision warning system auto high beam blind spot monitor so your blind spot monitor right here so if you're driving along the highway and a car is in your blind spot so wherever the car so if the car is on your right it lights up from the right the right mirror it's an orange light that would light up to tell you that there's a car in your blind spot that you're shooting switch lanes so it goes there it goes both ways if it's from the right side or the left side whichever side is from that mirror lights up with the indicator that there's a car in your blind spot so we're going to take it out for a test drive and we're going to tell you how it, how it feels driving it we're sitting in the driver's seat i'm sitting at a perfect angle i'm high the road is very very clear from the driver's seat this is a mid-size suv perfect for that family you have kids i love to play around there's a huge room here for them to do you have your rv or your trailer that you want to tow this car tows about five thousand pounds so you can't go above you have to tow within the range it drives perfectly It's that car, it's that perfect car. It's a Toyota. It's one of the best selling in its class. There are other cars to it in its class. I mean, what more would you want? Let's listen to the gears. So I guess you heard that. The gears shift perfectly. It takes you from point A to point B. It's an all-wheel drive, so it will be perfect for the snow. You can drive it without any second thoughts that, you know, you might try and get stuck and stuff. You have a diff lock, which you can lock in a case where you kind of stuck. So it gives power to all the four wheels. You have your lane departure assist. These are all safety, safety warning, pre-collision assist. So this car actually has a system that if it's parked at a red light, it automatically shuts off. Okay. So those are all means of saving gas and cutting down emissions. So auto automakers came up to that to that safety future that whenever a car parks so you probably stop for a few few seconds at a stop sign or a red light so why not cut the car off instead of burning for not burning gas or doing you know polluting our planet so these things were made or these systems were put in place that the vehicle will shut itself off and once you release the brakes it starts back up so moving on the highway you have that v6 power that 295 horsepower 263 pound feet of torque you have that power in you you have that power on your foot your pedal have the power you can decide, you know, to gas and rev and do everything you want to do. I mean, this car is is that perfect mid-size SUV. 
it fits in the class it's it fits in everything it's okay the ride is perfect so it also it also have you know it has a a connection that you have if you have these um power um garage doors so i'm gonna illustrate how it works so i'm gonna flip the camera so it works like this okay sorry for that so it has shut it's shut off right now because i've stopped and once i remove my foot from the gas it starts so what I was saying is you see this button it's one two three you can set it up with your garage door so watch as I press number one and see what happens you see The garage is opening because this car has a future that you can set up with your smart garage opener and it works when you're coming in you press it it opens you go in you press it again it closes so watch again as i press you see it closes So, overall, this vehicle is a perfect mid-size SUV. One of the best selling in its class. A lot of room, a lot of options. There are higher trim levels. You have the limited edition, you have the platinum edition. But this is the XLE and you have all of these features that it comes with. So, what more would you want in a vehicle? If you're somebody who's looking for a mid-size SUV for you and your family that takes you to work, that you want to tow stuff with, you want to go out on fun adventures, this is a car for you. Rating this vehicle, I will rate it 97%. I will read it 97%. Driving is good. Feel of the interior is good. Presentation of the interior is good. Interface with the driver and the vehicle is perfect. Safety features are good. So I will give it 97%. I will. So hope that video was interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, subscribe, comment, like, and we will keep trying our best to bring you more exciting reviews, more exciting cars. So bye-bye from my end.